Okay, hello and welcome to another live lesson. Yes, today we are going to have a look at a few different aspects of English uh, through quizzes. And today we're going to have a look at some interesting quizzes. Uh, as always, if you are new to joining in these live lessons, uh, please say hello and where you are from. Uh, if you are not new and you're joining for the third time or the second time or the hundredth time, I don't know if I've done a hundred, I'm not sure. But uh, anyways, of course, say hello as well. It's always nice to know who is in the chat. So. Uh, let me get the chat actually uh, out. Mari, hello. Good evening to you. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, lovely to have you, of course. Thanks very much indeed. All right. Let me pop out the chat there. Okay. And as always, uh, Aria, hello. Good to see you. Thank you always for joining as well. Um, you can share this with anyone. Yes, get your friends, your family, your pets, whoever wants to learn English, get them involved, of course. Uh, it's always nice to have uh, lots of people around, but maybe today, I'm not sure, I'm testing out something. I didn't announce anything on Facebook. Yes, that could be a big error on my part, or it could be an interesting um, test that I'm doing for YouTube. Who knows? Uh, the proof will be in the pudding, as they say. Yes. Uh, Julia, hello. Good to see you. Um, if you're new uh, to that idiom, the proof will be, or the proof is in the pudding. Basically, uh, it means the results will show um, what they show, basically. Uh, whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong, who knows, indeed um hello nadia good to see you as well thanks very much for joining awesome stuff okay uh so let's get uh started all right um let's have a look where are we gonna go next yes we're gonna go over to the quiz page of course i'm not sure if i've got it in the right area though let's check indeed all right uh is it in the 20 idioms list the proof is in the pudding. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> good question. I should know it, actually. Yes, <laughs> that's a very good question. Um, all right. I don't think this is the correct one. No. Uh, we're going to go with this one uh, first. And we're having a look at using, of course, for, during and while. Yes. Um, it's a good, um, yeah, a good practice, of course. Some people get this a little bit confused, a little bit mixed up, but this is a great one to, of course, use. Uh, so beginning with this one, as you can see, when Steve was a child, he lived in Brazil. And then what is the answer for during a while? Yes, and I'm sure everybody can get this one spot on. Uh, of course, four is the correct answer right there. Um, the next one uh, here, of course, um, production at the factory slowed down. Um, and then what would we use for, during or while? Uh, what about your family? Are they doing well? Hope. Thank you. Uh, yes, everybody's doing very well. Thank you very much. Um, Sophia is, as always, very energetic. Um, yes, she is uh, a little bit of a troublemaker sometimes. No, I'm just joking. Uh, and Lynn's very good as well. Thank you all very much for asking. Um, Romelia, hello. Good to see you. Yes, you are all correct. During, yes, during the strike. Very, very good indeed. Nice. Absolutely no problem. Right. You guys are spot on straight away. Good. Next one. My boss called me three times something. We were having dinner. Now, why would your boss call you? Yeah, that's not good. 
Um, maybe that boss is not very nice. Yes, badgering you is a good one as well. <laughs> All right. Um, I will put that one in the chat box, actually. Badgering is a great one to use. Uh, yes, while is the correct answer. So, uh, if you take a look at um, if you take a look at the chat box here, uh, I'm going to put this one here. Badgering, yes, badgering is of course uh, when someone won't leave you alone. They keep doing something or they keep asking you something um yes that is the form of badgering somebody all right uh cool uh so we visited lots of places lots of historical places and this one here something our trip to egypt all right yes 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 very good indeed awesome looking at your answers quick off the mark you guys are getting it straight away very very good indeed okay um yes you are spot on during is the correct answer here very good very well done of course uh what did they say about me something i was in the toilet hmm imagine if i was a fly on the wall i could hear them of course <laughs> all right ah yes thank you len is here good evening to you of course nice absolutely what did they say about me while i was in the toilet mm. hopefully it's good hopefully not bad things yes whispering behind my back <laughs> all right um when is followed by past continuous is wow yes all right um i was asked to give a presentation something about one hour something our meeting with our american clients yes let's have a look i was asked to give a presentation something yes something our american clients yeah good very good indeed for one hour because it is the length of time of course uh, and yes in this case during is the other one because it is when something happens in of course uh that time as well the next one please don't interrupt me something i'm speaking yes you can be very angry when you say this one right yes um i think when i was at school the teachers used to say this to us because we used to talk a lot yeah good please don't interrupt me while i'm speaking yeah it's a good one to use you can use this in business actually yeah um you can say it in a nicer tone though right you don't have to be angry yeah good all right nice awesome okay or during my speech mm, depends right uh during my speech a speech is quite formal in the sense that you're you're standing in front of uh a large group of people right um so yeah you can use it in that situation that's cool that's no problem but if it's in a meeting i would say while i'm talking is probably more appropriate in that given situation so yeah it depends on the situation of course good all right uh Dominico, hello good to see you thank you very much um i've been very busy <laughs> <laughs> in short terms very busy indeed all right the next one something the time i was away my hometown completely changed yeah absolutely um 
This has happened to me, of course. Uh, going back to Eastbourne in England has changed a lot, yes. So in this case, during the time I was away, yeah, it's changed. Awesome stuff. All right, so that was very, very easy to start with. Good warm up, good ideas. Well done indeed. Uh, so the next part that we're going to have a look at is uh, the next one, uh, activity number two. And that is uh, this one uh, here. This one is all about, of course, maybe as you can see, it is about synonyms, right? So we're going to go around, we're going to go down in order. And what is the synonym that we can use to, uh, of course, replace one word, the word in bold, you can see just a little, uh, in that sentence. So the first one is the huge bird landed on our deck, right? So in this case, what synonym could we use for this one, right? The synonyms are all down the left side of the page and which one fits that sentence the best? All right, yes, very good. Answers coming in thick and fast. All right, good stuff. Very, very well done indeed. Uh, so in this one, you're absolutely right. Large is a good one. Yeah, the large bird. Okay, is a very, very useful indeed. <laughs> ah, thank you very much. Yes, the queen. All right, very, very good indeed. All right, the next one. Uh, four errors. Yes, some people have already... Um, <laughs> already gone for it all right so here we go four errors were marked on my test sheet yes as you guys can see yeah four mistakes of course are going to have a look here right yeah i know some of you are going ahead no problem it's all good <laughs> if you want to go ahead that's fine i'm going to go through each one just so that uh, people following along, if they need to, then we can have a look here. Uh, the next one is please place. So place, which one can we use as a synonym for place, right? Please place the plate on the table, right? So in this case, um, place is the one that we need to uh, replace. Uh, and of course, you can put is the correct answer, which I think most of you have already got. Uh, the picture hung above the fireplace. Yes, above is the one that we need to use here, right? So, uh, of course, the, the fireplace is something that we can see, right? And of course, above can also mean over, right? In this case here, yeah, the picture hung over the fireplace. Very, very good indeed. Um, the next one, let's order a little pan size pizza. Actually, in this case, you could use sized, right? Some people say sized, pan sized, pan sized is okay. But yeah, little, pretty easy. We can go with small in this case. Very good indeed. Um, will you speak to my teacher? I'm sure everybody's got this one. Talk, of course. Very good indeed. Uh, is a nice one. Speak to, speak with. Yeah, either one. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we can kind of use them quite uh, interchangeably. Uh, the big, the baby, the BB. <laughs> I'll put my teeth back in. Uh, the baby became ill. Yes, ill. Of course, we can say sick is a good one indeed. Yeah. Uh, the twins keep their bedroom very clean. Yes. Um, neat is good. Tidy is another good one as well. Yeah, tidy is a great one. If you want to eliminate very you can also say 
Uh, the twins keep their bedroom spotless is a good one. Yeah. Um, sometimes we like to eliminate uh, using very because we use it or many people use it too much. It's overused. Yes. Um, dad is picking me up from school today. Father is picking me up from school today. Now, this is an interesting one. Which do you use? Do you use dad? Do you use father? Um, I would honestly say that I would never use father. I would always use dad because it's more um, common for me to use. Some people may use it in more formal settings, but I think dad is pretty okay indeed. Uh, dashed is the last one. That's the last one we got. Uh, Maria ran across the road, dashed, meaning ran quickly, of course. All right. Yeah, I think everybody uh, got those spot on, even though you did them awesomely quickly. Um, but well done indeed. Very, very good, of course. So the next one we've got is uh, hopefully going to be a little bit more challenging because we are going to have a look at some phrasal verbs that is next of course uh so uh let's take a look at our phrasal verbs which are here yes um these are very interesting because we can use them in everyday situations yeah uh these are very very good of course all right so this one here Remember, if you're thinking about, like you're talking on the telephone, I'm going through, yes, a tunnel. So the connection might something a little. Break up, hang up, or speak up, right? Yes. Good stuff. Yeah, absolutely, no problem at all. Yes, break up, perfect, indeed might break up a little yes the next one you sound like you're far away please which one call back hold on or speak up yes but the electro city goes up mm, that's true <laughs> um electricity yes yes electricity nice of course, <laughs> you sound like you're far away. Please speak up. Um, yeah, I uh, usually use that with my high school students. The people in the back are always very quiet and I cannot hear them. So, yes, it's one that I use every day. Please speak up. All right, the next one coming up is, of course, I'm sorry we got something. I don't know what happened. Yes. Uh, cut off. Hold on. Hung up. Now, interestingly there, I, uh, I pronounced the first one very British. Of course, we can say cut off. But some people in England drop the T and they say cut off right can you master that of dropping the t it sounds very strange cut off we don't pronounce the t sometimes all right but yes that is the correct answer uh mari julia aria very good indeed nadia dominico yes uh romelio very good indeed nice uh cut off is good for us to use in that situation let me have a look at this one or let's have a look at this one together. I'll something you something when I get home, right? Cut off, call back, hang up, right? Again, these are pretty easy, but we can use them in context, which is pretty cool. So you get an idea of how to use them in sentences and in context. Very good. Of course. Nice. Call back. Call back. Yes. Very, very good. Everyone got this right indeed. Uh, some people might get confused sometimes. 
um, especially with phrasal verbs, a lot of people don't like to split them up. So they make the mistake of saying, call back you. I'll call back you when I get home. We can actually split them up. So that's a good one to remember and a good uh, exercise to use it in. All right, so call back is the perfect answer indeed. All right, the next one. Could you something me to Henry, please? Right, could you something me to Henry, please? Cut off, call back, or put through, which is the correct answer. All right. Yeah, good. Very, very, very good indeed. All right. Could you something me to Henry, please? Yeah, very good indeed. No, nice. No problem at all. Aria, good. Julia, uh, Dominico, uh, Romelia, well done. Mari, fantastic. Uh, put through. Yeah. When you're calling up, if you get the reception or if you get the uh, secretary, you can ask, of course, could you put me through? to and then whoever you want to speak with all right great lovely stuff yes well done nadia awesome uh the next one the last one in the phrasal verbs i tried calling three times but no one which one is it picked up hung up or put through pretty easy because we've already done the other ones so there's only one left. Yes. But after this one, we've got some business idioms, which I'm sure you're familiar with, actually. All right. Very, very good indeed. Yes. Everybody is getting this correct. Well done. Lovely stuff. All right. Yeah. Aria, well done. Julia, Dominico, Mari, um, Nadia, Romelia, well done. Picked up is spot on very lovely stuff indeed all right wow you guys are whizzing through these uh questions today we're gonna be finished <laughs> in record time um today looks like gonna be a quick one all right <laughs> so the next one that we're looking at is uh of course our idioms uh, these are generally uh, related to business uh, idioms, okay? So, let's take a look at them. This is the last activity that I've got for you guys. All right. Uh, so, let's have a look here. I am sorry. Uh, David can't help with the project. He is something at the moment, right? Which one do you think it is? Bite the bullet? tied up corner the market or back to the drawing board yes which one do you think it is mm. yeah i'm i thought somebody might come up with that one yeah that's a good one indeed <laughs> no problem <laughs> this is a good memory uh exercise so don't worry about it it's all good mistakes always happen but that's no no problem at all don't worry um yeah good you're right tied up is the correct answer yes tied up is a very good one indeed the next one we will have to something some because we are running out of money yes this idiom you can split up right so which one do you think it is corner the market cut corners tied up or getting the hang of something yes uh yeah julia you're absolutely right um yeah it does mean that you have a lot on your plate absolutely yes um yeah there's plenty of um yeah you, there's plenty of ideas you can say i've got a lot on my hands um yeah we can use that one of course indeed but yes this one's a little bit challenging yeah i've got other fish to fry <laughs> yeah that means yeah you've got more important things to do right yes very good indeed 
Um, nice. Okay, so a few said B. Yes, B is correct. Cut corners. Um, cut corners means that you cannot, of course, do things perfectly or you cannot do things to the standard that you really want. Uh, so you have to take shortcuts. And that's where the idea of cut corners comes in. So we will have to cut some corners because we are running out of money. And that is, of course, where this one comes into play. Very good indeed. All right, the next one. Uh, my mid-level decorators constantly delayed painting my house. So I something and fired them oh, very very um yes severe <laughs> indeed uh sticking to the point take the bull by the horns snowed under uh back to the board drawing board the board drawing drawing board <laughs> which one uh, do you think it is yes um of course, we can change the verb tense of these, right? That's no problem at all. Um, yes, because in this case, we're using delayed. So we would have to change it to, of course, uh, the past tense in this case. But yes, awesome. You guys have got it already. Very good. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. I see it in incredibly correct. Well done. Yeah, changing it over, of course, to that one. Took the ball by the horns. Yes, meaning you took control of the situation. Absolutely. Yes, you don't want those decorators messing you around. So you've got to take control and make sure they know who's boss. All right, <laughs> the next one. Uh, the report was written in Japanese. Ooh. Uh, so I couldn't make something of it. Now this is very true for me. <laughs> All right. If I get a document or any kind of report in Japanese, I look at it and I'm like, Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't make uh, bite the bullet, getting the hang of something. Head nor tail, uh, take the ball by the horns. Hmm. Yes. Very, very good indeed. Nice. Very well done. Fantastic. I couldn't make head or tail of it indeed. Yes, you can use that one. It was all Greek to me. Uh, we sometimes all we sometimes use or hear uh, this one as well, right? Uh, head nor tail so that one can always be used uh as well head nor tail head or tail either one is okay perfect well done indeed yes all right the next one i am just something cooking for two people since getting married right snowed under tied up getting the hang of something head or tail right yes i am just something cooking for two people since getting married which one fits this one best obviously this person was single before yeah so they only had to cook for one or maybe they didn't even cook maybe went to the convenience store <laughs> if you've ever been to japan you'll probably understand that <laughs> all right uh, yes very good indeed getting the hang of something yeah getting used to something of course yeah learning the ropes is good yeah we can use learning the ropes absolutely um no problem at all very very nice nice idioms to use indeed uh the next one if you want to get a raise you have to and go talk to your boss. 
back to the drawing board, take the bull by the horns, corner the market, bite the bullet, right? Yes, which one is the correct answer in this case, right? Yes, which one do you think? If you want to get a raise, what do you need to do? You have to do something, of course and talk to your boss right of course it's a little bit of a nervous situation isn't it but yes you are correct everyone's correct it is d you have to bite the bullet if you're nervous right if you're scared but you still want that raise you've got to do it so you've got to bite the bullet is a great one to use indeed sometimes it means of course that we do things or we should try to do things that we don't enjoy we don't like but yes uh, how to pay for the equipment was the something throughout the project tied up cut corners sticking point snowed under which one is this one All right how to pay for the equipment was something throughout the project all right yes very very good indeed nice stuff absolutely julia good dominica well done Ariel, nice nadia fantastic very good indeed yes uh you've all got it spot on of course sticking point is the correct answer yeah meaning it was a problem it was a difficult uh difficult point to get past yes they didn't know how to solve that problem so sticking point is perfect indeed well done very good i can't take more work right now because yes take the ball by the horns snowed under corner the market or bite the bullet which one is it someone mentioned this one uh, a little earlier yes uh, which is a great, uh, a great one to use. I like this one, of course. I'm sure you all know it. Uh, I can't take more work right now because, yes, it should really say I'm, right? Yeah, I am or I'm. And then, yes, which one is it? Of course, it is snowed under. Yeah, perfect. Yes, snowed under, swamp is the good one as well i am swamped with work yeah that's a good um another good phrase to use too uh the next one the client didn't like any of the designs so it's right head or tail snowed under back to the drawing board or corner the market which one buzzing like the beehives <laughs> that's a great one indeed yes very good yes nice very very nice indeed well done awesome stuff you are correct back to the drawing board is spot on uh, or you could say uh, back to square one uh, is another good one as well um, or we're right back where we uh, where we started that's not really an idiom though but yes you can say back to square one or back to the drawing board uh, the next one Microsoft more or less has the whole software market so what have they done they have what right what would we put in here they have which one do you think this one is easy easy right um, which one do you think it is corner the market bite the bullet getting the hang of something or snowed under yes microsoft more or less has the whole software market so they have something what have they done yeah of course they have indeed absolutely they have cornered the market Yes, there are basically nowhere other people can go apart from Microsoft. Yes, 
when it comes to certain software indeed yes cornering the market is something many business many businesses would love to do but it's hard of course but yes cornering the market is fantastic all right wow um you guys whizzed through these today uh, i can't believe that you've uh, gone so quickly fantastic stuff um <laughs> so uh, that is all that i have time for uh today because you've run through them perfectly well and very very quickly indeed um but one thing that i would like to say is that uh, just recently of course i've not been uploading as much or doing live lessons as uh, often uh, i'm trying to change it it's just i do have a lot of work commitments at the moment um so that's an unfortunate scenario but i do intend i do plan and hope to upload a lot more very very soon indeed but thank you all for joining me today it was great to have uh, an active class lots of correct answers as well so uh, as always if you can uh, leave a like that would be perfect um, and thank you all very much for joining me. It's been awesome to see you for uh, a short period of time today. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be so long before the next one, of course. And I'm going to probably change up the, the live lessons a little bit. It's fun doing these quizzes, uh, but I want to get more um, sort of kind of like a teaching element as well in there as well maybe not so much going back to the old style but yeah we'll see I'll, I'll try and revamp it a little bit indeed all right uh no problem my pleasure indeed it's always fun so thank you all very much and uh don't forget sometimes i upload short videos as well um make sure you look out for those because they've got some interesting differences between american pronunciation british pronunciation or uh, interesting slang words um yeah although some people don't like them but uh yeah they can be useful indeed but anyway um take care guys have a great weekend i hope all of you have uh, a lovely saturday evening or a saturday day and enjoy the rest of your weekends as well and i will see you hopefully very very soon as well all right that's all from me guys Take care and I will see you once again very soon. Bye-bye.